this is not a joke. What's up, my name is Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to tell you guys or share with you guys my experience for um, the past month and a half. I have been dabbling with day trading. Um, close to about two months, I've actually been playing around with day trading. So I want to share you, with you guys my experience, um, what I learned um, that you know, kind of going through the process. Um, I, I talk about personal finance, how to save money, earn money, invest money, how to grow your wealth. So, um, in, in you know, I, I've been looking at other ways in which I can continue to grow my wealth. So, one of those was day trading. So, I'm, I'm looking at the opportunity to be able to uh, maybe go in there first thing in the morning, like when the market's open from uh, pre-market from like 8 to 8.30 or from 8 to 9 and then I can stop and go about my business and go go to work and do my 9 to 5 um, until I can make enough money to the point where that I can take over my uh, 9 to 5 job. So I started doing some research and just looking and I, I really wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, you, you know when you say you get uh, uh, paralysis by analysis that you learn so much information to the point where you can't even put that uh, information to work. So I wanted to avoid all of that. So what I what I did is I started with the basics. Like I just want to be able to um, buy a stock and turn around and quickly sell it. So um, the first thing is where which platform do I want to do that on? So uh, I've been I've been uh, you know I've been using Robinhood for a long time. When they first came out, even before they started. Uh, they sent out emails for people to sign up. I was one of the people that, that signed up and got access to the platform. So I've been using it from uh, the very beginning. So I said, hey, I want to use Robinhood and really see, just get my hands wet with, you know, kind of day trading. Um, and then those like, hey, how much do you need to start day trading? Um, there wasn't any amount. If you really want to do active day trading where you buy and sell on a daily basis, um, you need at least $25,000 in your account. Um, there's something called a patent day trader. So PDT. If you, if you are under $25,000, they'll flag you as, as a PDT person. And then what they do is they'll block your account from day trading for, I think, 90 days which is ridiculous. So they only say like, hey, all the people that have enough money can do day trading, which in my opinion is ridiculous. Um, so, I, so I had I had some money in the account. So what I did is I did what I call swing trading to start with. So I would buy a stock like to, to, tonight or buy a stock today and then sleep overnight with that stock and then sell it the next day with the anticipation that hopefully the next day that stock would go up. Um, and so that that was my, my, my thinking and so I'll look at uh, my strategy was I'll look at companies that had their earnings after the market closed. So I'll look at if there's positive news about that company then I'll buy the stock towards the end of the day. Um, then I'll listen to their earning call after the market closed and if there's, there's good news then tomorrow you know that that stock is going to go up and then I can sell it and get out and then use that money to buy something else. So that that, that, that was my strategy and that, that's what I started doing. I you know I made some money or, you know, to start with and I, I did lost some money. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, it wasn't fun. First off, let me be very, very clear. If you don't have the stomach to, to just kind of take a loss, watching your money disappear in front of your eyes is like one of the worst things that can ever happen to you. You have no power to stop it. And so, again, that was my experience. And so, if you, and you're thinking about getting into day trading, like, make sure that you can take a loss. That is just a given, because you, you're gonna lose some, you're gonna win some. Um, the goal is to win more than you are losing. So, my experience with uh, Robin Hood, unfortunately, when I was really getting into it and really starting to feel it, um, this whole uh, uh, you know market volume started moving so fast. Robinhood had two major crashes, and, and between those two crashes, I was seriously impacted because I had bought a stock, hoping to sell it the very next day, and then the next day came, and when I was ready to sell it, Robinhood crashed. So that stock went up and down, and I couldn't sell. So that was one of my really bad experiences. But 
um, there was I actually there was a stock that I actually bought and made I think about over two thousand dollars, which was good. Um, so I, I saw that stock going up, and um, so I listened to their earning calls, and I and I bought this stock. I think I bought it at um, if I can remember like thirteen dollars or so, and then the thing just gonna spike to like uh, fifteen or sixteen dollars, um, and then so I made about two thousand dollars in that, which is good. Um, then there was another one, uh, E Health, that I bought, um, thinking it was gonna go up as well, but it went south. So out of the two thousand dollars that I got from 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 the other stock, I gave about half of it back to E Health, which is kind of crazy. So that is the experience with stock market, and um, so far the swing the swing has been has been doing really good. Um, so let's talk about the tool. Uh, first off, if you don't have the right tools. Just don't even don't even bother. Uh, what I realized with Robinhood is that when you see their prices move, they are at least five or ten seconds behind um, other other tools that I saw. So let's say for instance, let's say the price is ten dollars and five cents that you're seeing in Robinhood. That's the ticker sign, right? Um, actually, that price that price would have moved up to let's say ten dollars and seventy cents before you see it in Robin Hood. So there's like a, a lack in between. Um, and now that's where I said see the importance of people that have um, what we call scanners that show you level two data, where it's actually showing you like active, like how much people are willing to pay for a stock at that particular time. Robin Hood doesn't give you that information. Um, so you can even place a trade. You see it, it says, let's say $10.50, you say sell. By the time that trade goes through in Robin Hood, it's gonna be if that stock moved, it could move down 10, 10 or 15 cents down. So you see ten dollars and fifty cents, you end up selling for ten dollars and thirty. But the price at which you wanted to sell was ten dollars and fifty cents. Just Robin Hood is that slow. So if you are actively looking to get into day trading, you want to be an active day trader, no, 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 not Robin Hood. Please, please learn from my mistake. Do not use Robinhood whatsoever. Um, there's other better platforms out there. I've tried um, uh, Tink or Swim with uh, TG Ameritrade. Um, I think the better. Um, I've tried uh, Wilbo, and that's I think I'm actually getting towards moving into Wilbo because so far it's free, and I've seen some of the stuff that they, they the tools that they provide are really really helpful. So um, yeah, and. Again, if you sign up for Wobo, I'm going to put a link in the description below. I think you get like three free stocks just for signing up, which is awesome. So yeah, check the link and go go get you some free stocks. That is the platform I'm probably going to move into. Um, you're probably asking yourself like, hey, uh, how much did you actually put into the stock market to, to get you started? So um, when, when I started my account, I had $4,000 in the account that I, I, I was investing. Um, so. I used that four thousand dollars, and it just kept. It grew up to maybe about six grand. Then um, the other thing that I did, uh, just to give me perspective, was that um, when I signed up for Wilbo, I saw they have like a paper trading, so you can actually uh, paper trade in Wilbo. Um, so I I got into it and tried it. I paper traded Tesla. Um, I paper traded uh, Microsoft. I paper traded uh, Apple, and so. Within that period, um, I think I made just within the period of our, a week of paper trading, I made about seventy-five thousand dollars. But they give you a uh, million dollars to paper trade with, which is which is awesome. So if you if you're looking at getting started, I'll say try sign up for a tool like Wilbo and and do paper trading and just play with with um, you know money that's not real money. The only difference is that when you lose that money. The effect is not the same like when you lose real money. So uh, my transition was I go from that paper trading and then I put I started with really small amount. So instead of buying um, let's say a hundred or two hundred shares of a company, nope, I'll just buy three or four. It, it, trust me, guys, you're gonna think like, oh, I wish, which is always the case, and that's the mistake I always made. So when you buy three or four shares and then the price jump up, you look at the numbers like, oh, I bought it at ten dollars, it went up to fifteen. So I only got ten shares. So what if I had, I had gotten a hundred? I would have made a boatload of money. That is what will kill you. Number two thing that will kill you is greed. 
set your price and, and, and be very, very um, solid on it, your exit price. So if your entry level is, let's say your entry price is $10, you say if it goes up to 12, I'm out. When it goes up to 12, get out. Because you're gonna sit there and be like, oh, if it's going up, what about if it gets to 13 or it gets to 14? That's the greed that's gonna kill you. So, uh, and that's happened to me. I've seen it gone to the point where it goes up, you know, three, four, five dollars. I'm like rejoicing and, and, and smiling. And then all of a sudden, with a blink of an eye, it just goes like it comes crashing. So, please, please, um, if you're thinking about it, again, you have to be very disciplined. So, Overall, um, I, I would say I've made about three thousand uh, dollars day trading uh, or swing trading slash day trading, um, and, and I'm not saying that I, I know exactly what I'm doing because I don't. I see all these guys on, on here on YouTube putting, um, they showing all the charts and all these candlesticks and like doing some math and algebra, and I'm like, no, I'm just I'm simplifying the process for myself. I look at a company, I look at their earnings, I listen to their calls, and if I hear good news, I know the stock is gonna go out. If I hear bad news, I'm not touching it. And that's how I go about buying it. And then when I go in, um, oh, one other thing too with Robinhood that I didn't like is that they don't have like um, stop loss and they don't have take profit together. So like when I said it using Wilbo, if you want to buy a stock, let's say it's seven dollars, you that's your entry price. You put your stop loss at say six dollars and ninety five cents, and you can put your, your take profit at say eight dollars before you you hit buy. So that when you buy, if anything were to change, if the price went down, you stop at six dollars and ninety five cents. So you only lost five cents um, in that case. And if it goes up to say eight dollars, you sell and take your profit. And, and I mean, again, you're gonna probably be like, oh, what if it went up to $9? But that's where you have to be disciplined. So Robinhood doesn't allow you to do that. So you can only set one or the other. So you can do a, a take profit, which means you can do a market sell at a particular price, or you can do um, uh, maybe a stop loss at a particular price. That's it, you can't set a uh, sell and stop loss with the same stock in Robinhood, which is ridiculous. So. Um, yeah, it's for me just learning. It was good. Um, I don't think I'm going to use Robinhood um, moving forward for day trading or swing trading. I'm going to move my asset over to either Tink or Swim uh, or Wilbo. But I'm leaning heavily towards Wilbo because, I mean, again, like I said, the tool is free. They have a lot of information that I can use to kind of uh, start investing. Um, their their application to me is very simple. I, I like the layout and everything. So um, I, I'm not gonna invest money yet in like, I see all these other people here on YouTube doing scanners. I'm just gonna keep trying it. And again, my window for trading is eight, between 8 a.m. And, and 9 a.m. That window, that's about it. After that, I'm done for the for, for the day trading. I go do my day job and, and that's there. That's the way I'm gonna approach it. Um, and if things get better, I start making more, and then I'll, I'll start seeing how I can balance that. Um, otherwise, that's that's my story, guys. That's my day trading experience. Um, like I said, this is not meant for everyone. It's a very, very risky business. If you cannot stomach losing money, please don't even attempt it. Um, again, um, think about the platform that you're using. Robinhood is definitely not a day trading platform whatsoever. Um, and then uh, think about your discipline. Are you greedy? Do you look at the stock market and other thing is always going to go up? No, it's going to go down. There's other things about day trading that I'm still in the process of learning, like shorting. I haven't shorted yet. Um, just just because I, I mean, I just like to go long uh, because that's what I understand better. But in, in the future, that's something I'm going to try. I'm going to start shorting using uh, paper trading and see how see how that goes. Um, and if, for those of you that don't understand shorting simply means that you anticipate that the price of a stock is gonna go down so you can buy it at say ten dollars and then when the price goes down that's when you make money if you're shorting it if the price goes up you're losing money so uh, that's the, the next step that I'm gonna try um, and, and just see how it goes so that's my experience guys if you have any questions about again what I did how I started um, and I used Robinhood for the platform let me know in the comment section and 
And as always guys, investment is a risky business. Mind how much money you put into it. It's not meant for everybody. Stay motivated.